Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. I'm already seeing uh, quartz crystal. Oops, I got a card sticking out as well. Oh, it's hematite. I was like, if it's quartz crystal, oh my God. <laughs> I think it's going to be amazing. But I saw quartz crystal in my mind. And it, the point was sort of pointing to the past. So there's clarity about the past. There's purification around that. There's forgiveness. There's getting grounded, which is what this is, <laughs> right? Getting grounded around um, and coming to terms with something that happened in the past. So hematite grounding, you're feeling safer. You're feeling more at home within your own body, within your own skin. And this is a beautiful thing. You might have been really, really affected by people and their opinions, what they thought you should do, who you should be, how you should act. Oh, you do this wrong. You do that wrong. All that's kind of cleansing away now. And you're finding yourself. And it's not in this like weird grand, like, oh, I found myself. And that means I'm supposed to be a musician or I'm supposed, it's not about labels. <laughs> finding yourself is not labeling yourself. Finding yourself is, is going, okay, I can be at home within my, within my being. I know. And I appreciate myself. Now, hematite, because it's very reflective. If you imagine hematite coming around you, you can deflect negativity. All right. Okay. So let's keep going here a little bit. All right. That should do it there. So the next card up we have Labradorite take action. Take action for you guys this month means that things are starting to move ahead. Yes, you see the way forward. Um, maybe some opportunities came up for you and you are exploring them. But Labradorite also talks about the intuition and following your intuition, your, your third eye, also with the gut. And here's the thing, your, your gut instinct, right? What I feel around this is that... Some of you out there are putting too much of, I say this all the time, but putting too much of a story around intuitive hits. Yes. So you're jumping to conclusions about what you think that message is. And the angels are coming in and saying, we didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> right? They're coming in and saying, be easy and free flowing with this. Be at peace. Don't, don't just jump ahead and start going down a path that's not right for you. Okay. Let's see what else we got as a story going on here. <laughs> master teacher card ancient wisdom crystal ancient wisdom so you know what to do this is you know tapping into i would even say your higher wisdom as well learning from the ancestors being grounded not doing something for an ego pursuit we say that all the time too right but this is definitely honing in your own wisdom what have you learned so far about yourself and about your spirituality what where has ascension taken you i guess is what we're talking about here and that's why these two go together here. Yes. So there's going to be a glare. I have lamps on, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but the Labradorite and the ancient wisdom crystal is saying you have the answers within inside of you or within you, within inside of you. That's redundant. Okay. Within you. And it's saying that you don't need to let the ego start tying a story around it or allow other people to tell you, oh, well, it's supposed to look like this, this, and this. You're tuning into your own instincts. You're feeling what it is that is right for you. And you're feeling a lot of empowerment around that as well. So let me just give you a practical example. Let's say an opportunity comes in for you. And maybe it's something that you never considered. You never thought you would go down that path. But, you know, you might, you might hold yourself back or self-sabotage because you're afraid of how people will respond. This is not the time to do that. You're allowed to grow and change. You don't need to hold yourself back for other people's comfort. Right. <laughs> All right. And then we have Brazilianite flexibility. Things are not going to go according to plan. You might wake up and go, oh, I think I'm going to go to work today and then I'm going to go grocery shopping. And then a blizzard hits, which we have a blizzard about to hit any day now. Um, you're going to have to be a little flexible and you're going to have to work around things 
and work around other people and their goals as well. Yeah, let me get this for you guys. When it, what you're seeing me do when I'm, you know, kind of clunking in, <laughs> going in, I'm just being quiet so I can kind of feel where they want me to land. Now, there are a lot of people that I am reading for, so I, I'll just kind of land wh wherever it comes up, but it's not going to pertain to everybody. But um, for some of you, this is a spouse that needs to move elsewhere for a job. Someone's going to be following their ex-spouse because of the kids. So that's going to be happening uh, for someone out there. <laughs> but this is also talking about being flexible with your work. Um, times are changing, is shifting, wants and needs and all this stuff. That's going to be shifting as well. So really, I think the big message, the overall message here is that you're getting all the signs. All the information is there. Just don't hold yourself up because you're like, no, I've always worked this way. Oh, gosh, that would be like the, the anti-mantra <laughs> for this month. I've always worked this way. And I'm going to keep on this way. It's not going to work. <laughs> okay, it's not going to work. There are new things coming about. And you're, you might even have to learn something new uh, to sort of stay relevant in, in your job for some of you. But also, um, it's just the way of the world. You know, the world is shifting. So our viewpoints are going to have to shift a little bit as well. New, okay, <laughs> I'll get to this in just a second. New discoveries coming out. And it really opens your perception about people and how you've always lived so it's a nice feeling it's very grounded it's saying don't take it too seriously so the card is it's a white card uh lighten up the number is 24 uh so there's that and there's kind of a there's a little feather on there as well so this is saying don't if things aren't going according to plan and they won't be right <laughs> if you become rigid um or you start to fall into depression because you're like oh my gosh all my dreams are falling away let them go, okay? Let them go because it's really paving the way for something new to come in. And if you really tune into your intuition and you're honest with yourself, you knew all along that this was coming, okay? So report down below how things are going for you. <laughs> I'm sending you so much love and take care.